Let's imagine for a moment that we define this function as pop with a t return value. Inside that function we would take the item from the front of the queue. We would call queue pop, which destroys the item inside the internal container. Then the function would attempt to return a copy of that item to the caller. Here is the danger. What if the copy constructor of t throws an exception during that return process? Perhaps the system is out of memory, or the object is complex and it fails to copy. If that happens, the function exits with an exception. But we have already called pop on the internal queue. The item has been removed from memory, but we have successfully deleted it from the queue. That data is lost forever. By passing a t reference, into the function we change the order of operations. First we wait for the lock. Second we assign the front element to the user's variable. If this assignment throws an exception, the stack unwinds. Then we exit the function and the lock is released. But crucially we haven't popped the item yet. Only after the data is safely in the user's hands do we call q underscore pop. This guarantees strong exception safety. No matter what happens, we never lose the data. Now